Hello and welcome to this video, Carthage versus Amaz. We have Carthage in the red as Ptolemies and Amaz playing as the Britons in blue. Carthage straight away into action, whereas Amaz seems not yet to be moving. Yes, now he's moving. Hmm. Already you're seeing the difference between a 1700 ranked player and a 1300 ranked player. Getting to the game straight away as opposed to that little bit of lag time. In a game where matches only last between 15 to 30 minutes, generally, it's absolutely necessary to remove those little mm, these little moments of inaction from your game. No rally points set from the Civic Center. Rally points are, are vital. They save seconds and this is a game of seconds. Straight into slingers right away. That uses up a lot of wood that could be used for things like the berries upgrade, which he isn't uh, isn't going for. Whereas mm, a 1700 ranked player has a build order, builds the farmstead straight away, builds the wicker basket straight away, goes into other upgrades for more efficient resource collection, builds up to phase two faster, builds up to phase three faster expands faster takes over that map is able to rush faster if that is their strategy hmm DSD? doing okay for resources I would like to see him spend a few more of them though Carthage using all of his wood on build on uh, yeah, building things with, to enable faster resource collection. Some Nabataean camel archers, a little raid. He'll find the wood. Look at all this resource collection that isn't happening right now. You see this? Carthage is collecting resources still. Some nice micro. It's a very good micro here. No dance, just micro. This guy plays legit. Amar's not building any units currently as well. It's not... This raid by Carthage, not just impacting his economy uh, collection, but impacting his concentration in the game entirely, it seems. He probably should be... He has the population cap ready to... Uh, oh, he doesn't. Okay, that's full population cap. <laughs> Pardon me. Needs to be... Yeah, this wood. Not using the wood that he has. To build... Oh, this is... No, this is just looking really bad for a Mars here. And looking just fantastic for Carthage. Mars is collecting some food. Those those are resources, but th there is a dramatic difference. Even non-withstanding the difference between Ptolemies and Carthage in house production, uh, Ptolemies and Britons in house production. Oh, it's a bit distracted himself. 
Like, even with that out of the equation, this base is so much bigger. Two houses, one civic centre. That's what he's used his wood on. Uh, a farmstead and a storehouse is what the wood's been used on over here. And a farm. Straight up farm. Um, you're going to move your ladies, Carthage? <laughs> move your ladies. I mean, this is great what you're doing over here, but... There are so many idle ladies and just everything. Oh. Amaz has no map vision. Hmm. It's worth a hundred food and fifty wood to see what's happening on the whole map. Just to get rid of that blackness. He's not collecting any resources right now. He's not collecting any resources. Mm hmm. Not great. Two farms going, a lot of wood coming in. Another farm, very nice. Mmm, this is, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> this, this kind of stuff is very effective. I, I do wish it uh, was less possible until perhaps, like, if it was only possible to start doing this at about five, six minutes into the game, I would say, yeah, that's a good element of the game. <laughs> but as it is, mm, I, I, I just think that mm, it's a little odd and causes a lot of difficulty balancing the game between civilizations. If an early game unit, which is so effective, is readily accessible, before four minutes into the game. Maybe they should straight up just be a phase two thing. I really don't know. That's a bit extreme. They should still be buildable, but something else that maybe you can only have a certain amount of them until phase two. <laughs> just completely arbitrary. You can only have X amount. For a Y reason. Well, he's outposts. <laughs> he's going to know if he expands or not. Just not quite confident in his ability to completely eradicate the place. Amar's just not giving up, so Carthage has no choice but to just contain the situation. Oh, and do. Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Good attacks. Okay, he's just completely surrounded. Well, they, I should say. I don't know. <sighs> just Amaz is completely surrounded. Carthage is completely surrounded too, but by himself. <laughs> in a good way. Uh, Amaz is surrounded by Carthage. There'll be no Carthago Delenda Est today, by the looks of this. <laughs> I think it's always think it's funny when units whoa, they have to walk extra quickly to get into formation. Well, this is happening. The slingers will beat the horses. 
if they remain. Formation abuse. Formation speed abuse. Maybe that shouldn't happen. <laughs> it's not quite as OP as dance, but formation speed abuse is a... Mm, it's an exploit. It's not... Mm, I'm not sure if it's a uh, yeah, intended design choice. Well, um, Amaz, you're a pop capped and you're trying to build 10 slingers. Slingers cost wood, you might want to use that on the buildings first. In a really bad spot here. Mmm. Eek. Holding on, clinging. Clinging on. If he had skin on his teeth, he there would be no more. Because he's, he's <laughs> been hanging on by his teeth for so long. By said skin. Teeth skin. That it, it surely no longer exists. Like, I'm disheartened and I'm not even the one in the game. This is, this is perseverance. This is strength. Like, to be honest with you, maybe this guy's only a 1300 rank player. And maybe there are some slight optimizations that need to be made to the gameplay. But his game ideology is correct. 100%. He understands that the game is absolutely never over. There are certain times when it's appropriate to resign, but as far as he sees, he probably doesn't quite... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe at this point I would. But oh, he sees a possibility, and that's good. Because there is one, and there always is one. It would require... Carthage to uh, lapse in judgment quite many a time, <laughs> but uh, th it's a theoretical po possibility and Amaz knows this and I respect it 100%. Like, he's taking outposts, like that's not a big thing, but that's a thing. He's got his storehouse up now. That's great. He's going to bank a whole bunch of resources. I mean, I might as well lose some camel arches here. He's not going to micro these. This is more resources gone for him. Potentially. Mm, well, you know, actually, no. <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> I want Amaz to get back into the game. Because I respect that play so much. Too many arrows. Look at them all there. Mm. Looks bad. I haven't even really been concentrating on the upgrades because I know that not much is really going to be happening. He's spending all his uh, spending all his time on micro. didn't turn out well.
No research, just expansion. Plenty of uh, pop room for population. And yeah, that. Healing up the Nebatean arches. They're Nebatean, aren't they? Yeah, Nebatean. Oh. The outpost will return to Carthage. Mm. Do something. Okay, there we go. Not even gonna delete it, just gonna <laughs> just gonna let it fall back. Surely Carthage knows that he could have deleted that when that was over fifty percent still. Maybe too much micro elsewhere. Maybe he just didn't really didn't even know that he'd got under control. He was back over here doing something or you know. Could have been doing anything. Mm. Ugh, these statistics. They are vastly in the favour of Carthage. Currently. Look at this population. Look at this wood. Look at this... This other statistic at the end. KDA, basically. Uh... There's a little bug there. <laughs> Horses were kind of freaking... Uh, camels were kind of freaking out. They kind of freak out a lot. Jiggling, I would say. They jiggle. Vibrate. Just slowly building up and mm, making sure that Amaz does not. Well, that happened. Five never ten camel archers now. It's too many. He has more archers than Amaz has at population in total. Yeah. Do something. Town phase, there it is. Probably be looking at expansion pretty soon. Even before phase three. In multi, yeah. I'd expect to see it. Oh. This. <laughs> it makes me sad. It's making me sad to see this. line of arches, arches, camel arches. Look at this line. Ugh. Ugh. Ridiculous. At this point, that horse might save him time, you know, 
you could make that horse and, and run it down to here and see this and then think, ooh, maybe I should just, uh, <laughs> maybe I should just bail. Nope, here it is. Here's the military colony. Yeah, it won't be far off now. Once this and one or two other things are built, it, uh, it will be game over regardless. Why is the market here? Going to put another one there. It's funny, people only building markets just to get to phase two or whatever. Phase three. doesn't even know the military colony is there. He's trying to do something. Trying to make slingers. Military colony. Is complete. Ah, oh, look at all that military stuff. How about it? Mm, now a proper tower coming out. You'll see this line now and you'll be oh, thinking, hmm, not good. Hundred and fifty five to twenty four population now. Oh, look at it. It is overwhelming odds here. Overwhelming odds. The odds are in Carthage's favour. The Britons just are not capable of defeating this group of Ptolemies. This group of Britons versus this group of Ptolemies didn't work out well for the Britons. Oh, and a temple coming out. Oh, it's GG so soon. <laughs> Maybe put a fortress up. What else do you want? Just make an overwhelming show of force so that he wants to resign. Stop, like, building stuff. <laughs> like, the only reason he hasn't really resigned is because he doesn't actually really know what you have. If he knew that you had 165 population right now, I... <laughs> Ugh. He could even just go in there, select every unit that he has, <laughs> just bring them over. And just, you know, they could all poke at the Civic Center with their, with whatever weapon they have. And it would go down. He doesn't own this rock, apparently. <laughs> Mm. 
Not quite enough territory. Heroes coming out. Oh, it's an elephant. It's Ptolemaeus uh, Serta. It's so confusing seeing <laughs> the Ptolemies played by Carthage versus Brit Britons. It's so confusing. It would only be more confusing if Amars were instead named Kushites or something. So today we have the Kushites playing as the Brightons and Carthage playing as Ptolemies. But what? We've got who doing where? the fortress coming up. Oh, the elephant just straight up going in. So Serta can basically take down a civic center on his own. Can he? Well, he's not really doing much. He's just kind of standing in the in the top part while the elephant does everything. While the man on the elephant's head tells the elephant to do everything. Oh. Oh, this is so... Oh, it's sad. He's a good player, he just needs to get some speed earlier on in the game. Oh, oh dear. He's got another one. Ah, oh, well, good game. Three. Three catapults. No, oh, well, it's game over. It's a good game.
Ptolemies. Carthage is Ptolemies. Just too strong. Just too strong. Not really much to say in the stats department. Ptolemies will always get a bit of bloat over Brighton's just in their extra capacity to build buildings, but yeah, all the other ones also. He had a chance up until about six minutes into the game. Even I, th I think basically here is where the first raid started happening and he stopped going up. His stick keeps going up on the same level that he was doing here. He would have caught up to Carthage as Carthage was using... You see, this gets leveled out because he's using his resources to build all those Nabataean camel arches. If Mars could have caused that, that rush to be not effective... He could have kept his graph going. I don't know. Anyway. Good game. Good game by both.